Hello children, welcome to AIMS India's online classes. In today's video, from mathematics subject, pair of linear equations in two variables, topic we are going to discuss. So, in our previous video, we have already <coughs> learned children. So, how to represent the pair of linear equations in two variables and their solution on the graph. That method we have discussed already. So, uh, linear equation in two variables means it will be in the form of ax plus by plus c equal to 0, where a and b are not both 0. Both the coefficients at a time they cannot be 0, only any one of them can be 0, or this condition indirectly can be written as a square plus b square is not equal to 0. So, here uh, suppose in the equation if we keep x equal to 1, y equal to 1, then LHS is 5 which is equal to RHS. The equation is satisfied for these values. So, this is the solution and if we keep x is equal to 1 and y equal to 7 in the equation, the equation is not satisfied which means if the equation is represented by a line, if this equation is represented by a line, if this x equal to 1, y equal to 1 satisfies the equation means that point lies on the line. x1, y1, 1 comma 1 point lies on the line. So, the values 1 comma 7 does not satisfy the equation means the point 1 comma 7 does not lies on the line. That is the meaning. This we have learnt already. The general form of uh, pair of linear equations is a1x plus b1y plus c1 equal to 0, a2x b2y plus c2 equal to 0, where this a1 to a1, b1, c1, a2, b2, c2, these are all real numbers and this a1, b1 not equal to 0, which means a1 square plus b1 square does not equal to 0 and this a2, b2 at a time both of them cannot be 0, which means a2 square plus b2 square is not equal to 0. So, this, this is the general form for linear equations. So, the graph of linear equation in two variables is always a straight line. So, order plates of real numbers x comma y. So, which uh, which are lying on the line are, are the solutions of the equation. Which are not on the line, they are not the solutions. The two equations can be represented by two lines children two lines in the same plane, but the two lines may intersect at one point, may not intersect, may be parallel like this or may be coincident, may be coincident. And some graphs also we have, we have solved children. So, example 1 already we have discussed. Next, let us go with another example. So, here Romila went to a stationery shop and purchased two pencils, three erasers for rupees 9. Two pencils, three erasers for rupees 9 rupees. This uh, Romila went to a stationery shop and she purchased these items, these items for this many rupees. Her friend Sonali saw the new variety of pencils and erasers with Rom Romila and she also bought 4 pencils, 6 erasers of the same kind for rupees 18. She also went to the shop. She also bought the same kind of pencils, same kind of erasers as Romila and uh, she paid rupees 18 to the shopkeeper. Now, the question is represent this situation algebraically and graphically. Now, here two situations are there. 
so one is uh, situation related to romila another one is situation related to sonali these two situations we have to represent both algebraically and graphically so here uh, romila purchased two pencils three erasers number of pencils number of erasers known quantity in the case of romila and in the case of sonali sonali also four pencils six erasers she brought total amount 9 rupees total amount 18 rupees regarding that also we have clarity only the unknown term here is what is the cost of one pencil what is the cost of one eraser that is unknown so let us denote the cost of one pencil as rupees x one eraser as rupees y then the above situations can be represented as as romila brought two pencils means 2 into x three erasers three erasers into each eraser price y rupees here two pencils into each pencil price x rupees three erasers into <coughs> each eraser price y rupees total price 9 rupees this is the first situation <coughs> sorry sir and second situation four pencils 4x 6 erasers 6y total amount is 18 rupees so we can represent the above situations with these two linear equations now to obtain equivalent geometrical representation we have to find two points on the line representing each equation to find two solutions of each equation because in each equation we have to find x and y value so that's why relating to x and y values in the graph if these two equations are represented by some lines so we have to find out the points present on the lines so let's uh, draw a table chart so we have first equation we have 2x plus 3y equals to 9. If uh, 2x goes that side, two x goes that side, 3y equal to 9 minus 2x. Or if 3 also goes that side, 9 minus 2x by 3. This is the value of y in terms of x. Means. if we know x with the help of this formula we can find y so let's uh, draw a table with uh, some columns let's take one x value in one box let's take y value in another box but y value depends on x value through this formula 9 minus 2x by 3 in the place of x let's assume some values in the place of x if i assume 0 then 9 minus 2 into 0 0 by 3 9 minus 0 by 3 6 by a uh, 9 minus 0 by 3 9 by 3 which is equal to 3 according to this equation when x is 0 y value is 3 or when x is 4.5 4.5 9 minus 2 into 4.5 9 9 minus 9 0 why value will become 0 because 0 by 3 is 0 why value will become 0 so we have got some points one is 0.3 another one is 4.5 comma 0 these two are the equations sorry these two are the points satisfying the first equation 2x plus 3y equal to 9. In the same way, we have second equation, 4x plus 6y equal to 18. We have second equation, 4x plus 6y equal to 18. Let's isolate y. So 6y equal to 4x taken to RHS. It will become 18 minus 4x. 
we want only y. So, 18 minus 4 x by 6. So, x in the place of x we can take any value, but the y value depends on x with the help of the formula 18 minus 4 x by 6. So, in the place of x if we assume 0, 18 minus 4 into 0 by 6, 18 minus 0 by 6 which is equal to 18 by 6, 6 3 times 18, y value will be 3. If we take 3 in the place of x, 18 minus 4 into 3, 18 minus 4 into 3 by 6, 18 minus 4 3 times 12 by 6, 18 minus 12, 6 by 6, which is equal to 1, 3 comma 1. So, 0 comma 3, 3 comma 1 are the points satisfying the equation 4x plus 6y equal to 18. It is not compulsory that we have to take only two values to learn. We can take so many values, but at least one pair to be common in both the tables. Here 0 comma 3 is there, here 0 comma 3 is there. One pair is common, enough. One pair is common. So, let us uh, plot a graph. Let us plot these points in the graph paper and draw lines to learn. So, x was 0 0.3 one point, 4.50 another point. So, the line joining these two points is called 2x plus 3y equal to 9. And we have two more points that is 0 comma 3, 3 comma 1. So, 0 comma 3 again same point, 3 comma 1, 3 comma 1, here it will come. If we draw line through these two points, this line coincides with the previous line, coincides with the previous line. What does it mean? Both the equations are equivalent. Both the equations are equivalent equations. One can be derived from the other. As both the lines are coinciding with each other, we can guess that both the given equations are equivalent and one can be der derived from the other. One can be derived from the other. So, all the points satisfies the equation. All the points satisfy the equation. Suppose here this 3 comma 1 point also satisfies this equation. Suppose if x is 3, x is 3 9 minus 2 into 3, 6. 9 minus 3, 3. 3 by 3, 1. So, both the, in both the equations, the order plates will be same because they are lying on the same line, lying on the same line. Next one, another example. <coughs> two rails are represented by the equations x plus 2y minus 4 equal to 0, 2x plus 4y minus 12 equal to 0. So, represent this situation geometrically on the graph paper. So, these two are the given equations here. So, let us try to find these solutions with the help of table. Here equation is x plus 2 by minus 4 equal to 0, x plus 2 by minus 4 equal to 0. If we isolate y, 2 by equal to minus 4 right hand side plus 4 plus x right hand side minus x 
4 minus x. Here y equal to 4 minus x by 2. So, this x value y in terms of x y equal to 4 minus x by 2. So, let us say take some values still in x value 0 4 minus 0 4 by 2 which is equal to 2 x value we can take 4 y means 4 minus 4 is 0. So, we will always take values such that calculation will be easy. Here 4 minus 4 will be 0. So, that is why we will take this value. 4. If we take 4 in the place of x, 4 minus 4 0, 0 by 2 which is equal to 0. So, 0 comma 2 and 4 comma 0 are the points satisfying the equation. Here second equation is 2x plus 4y, 4y minus 12 equal to 0. Here 2x plus 4y plus 4y minus 12 equal to 0. If we isolate y, 2y, if minus 12 goes that side plus 12 equal to plus 12, 2x goes that side minus 2x, 12 minus 2x. Sorry, this is 4y. If you want to find y, 12 minus 2x, this 4 will come down by 4. So, this is x, y value 12 minus 2x by 4. In the place of x, if you keep 0, 2 minus 0, 0, 12 by 4, 3. Or if you if you keep 6 in the place of x, so that 2 into 6, 12, 12 minus 12, 0. Numerator will become 0. That is why we are taking 6 here. If we take 6, 0 by 4, which is equal to 0. So, 0 comma 3, 6 comma 0 are the points satisfying the second equation. So, with the help of this uh, 0 to 4 0, if this point is R, if this coordinates are represented by point R, if these two are represented by S, so for R S 1 point, S for R 1 point, S 1 point, if we join these two points, we will get a line. And uh, 0 3 6 0, 0 3 is a point, 6 0 is a point, if we join these two, we will get another line. So, we observe. So, let us uh, draw the graph children. So, 0 2. 0 2 means x value is 0, y value is 2. x value is 0, y value is 2. Means here, this is 0 comma 2 point. Next, we have 4 comma 0. 4 comma 0 means x value 4, y value 0. Means this point. So, if you join these two RS points, we will get a line. Next, 0, 3, another point P. 6, 0, another point Q. If we join these two points, then also we will get a line which is parallel to the previous one. Which is parallel to the previous one. So, the nature of this equations is they the lines do not intersect anywhere they are parallel so they don't have any solution because they are not intersecting with each other here uh, two situations are given below children the cost of 1 kg of potatoes, 2 kg of tomatoes was 30 rupees on certain day. So, after 2 days, the cost of 2 kg potatoes, 4 kg tomatoes found to be 66. 66. So, this situation we have to solve with the help of geometrical method. Uh, second situation. The coach of a cricket team of MK Nagar High School. 
So buys three bats, six balls for rupees 3,900. Later he buys one more bat and two balls at 1,300 rupees. So identify the unknowns in each situation and uh, we have to find the solution. What are unknowns here? How many tomatoes she has bought? 1 kg, 2 kg. What is the total cost? 30. Here, 2 kg, 4 kg. Total cost is 66. What is missing here, children? The cost of 1 kg of potatoes, how much? The cost of 1 kg of tomatoes, how much? So that we can check the total amount. Let us try to solve this children. So here, uh, so if the potatoes price is x, if the potatoes price is x, 1x plus tomatoes price is y, 2y equal to 30. This is one equation. If we isolate y, we can write 30 minus x by 2. And second condition, 2 kg potatoes, 4 kg tomatoes. So 2x plus 4y equal to 66. This is second one. In this also, if you isolate y, there is 66 minus 2x by 4. Like this we can write. So from the equation, this one, let us isolate y so that we can have x, y plane. In this equation also, let us isolate y and let us uh, note down x, y order plates in all cases. If x value is 0, y is 15. So, 0, 15 is a point. If x is 2, y is 14. 2, 14. If x is 4, y is 13. 4, 13. If x is 6, y is 12. 6, 12. These are the order plates satisfying the first condition. And here, if x is 1, y is 16, 3, 15, 5, 14, 7, 13. So, 1, 16, 3, 15, 5, 14, 7, 13. These are the order plates satisfying the second equation. Now, here children, these two situations to be represented on the graph with the help of these points. 0, 15, 2, 14, 4, 13, 6, 12. So, 0, 15, 0, 15, x value 0, y value 15, 0, 15, 2, 14. So, 2, 14, 2, 14. Here, 2, 14, 0. 2, 14. And uh, 4, 13. 4, 4, from 4, from x4, we have to draw a line up to y13. So, this is the point. Next, we have another point, 6, 12. At 6, value is 12. This point. Let us join all the points here. We will get a line. We will get a line. In the same way, for second equation also, if we plot points, 116, if we plot the points on the graph, 1, 16, 3, 15, 5, 14, 7, 13. So, where is 1, 16? 1, 16. 1, 16. 3, 15. 3 comma 15, 3 comma 15, 5 comma 13, sorry, 5 comma 14, 5 comma 14, 7 comma 13, 7 comma 13. And the, this is the line joining all the points. These two lines are not intersecting. Means 
they are not intersecting with each other they are parallel means they don't have any solution these are considered as uh, inconsistent inconsistent pair of linear equations they will be parallel and they, they will be not having any solution next let's see about another situation sir you know? the coach of a cricket team of mk nagar high school so buys three bats let it be x six balls let it be y for rupees 3900 later he buys one more bat two more balls for rupees 1300 so now what is the cost of each bat and each ball that we have to find that is also graphically so that the cost of each ba bat be x and each ball be y ball be y then um, here the coach has given three bats and three bats and six balls sorry the coach has bought uh, three bats and six balls for rupees 3900 so here uh, based on the given situation these two equations we will get we will get this is the first time items purchased these are the items purchased next time same items so let's isolate y children let's isolate y so then we will we will be having x comma y order paid If x is hundred, if we substitute, y will be six hundred. So hundred comma six hundred is a order pair, which satisfies the equation. Here also, according to situation, the equation is x plus two y equal to thirteen hundred. So x, let's isolate y in terms of x. If x is hundred, y will be six hundred. Hundred comma six hundred. In both the cases, we are we have got the same solution. R for two hundred, five fifty, three hundred, five hundred, four hundred, four fifty. Second table also two hundred, five fifty, three hundred, five hundred, four hundred, four fifty. After observing the table. Or let's uh, draw. Let or let's plot all the points on the graph paper. All the points on the graph paper. So what are the points? Hundred comma six hundred, two hundred five fifty. Hundred comma six hundred. X value hundred, y value six hundred. Hundred comma six hundred, two hundred comma five fifty, three hundred comma. Five hundred, four hundred comma, four fifty. We have got four points, and if we draw a line joining the four points, we will get the line for the given equation. In the same way, for second equation also, we have to plot the points, but we have got same points. We have got same points, so the line. the second line lies on the first line with same points with same points or both the lines coincides with each other coincides with each other means they have every point common because both of them are coincident coincident lines so every point on them will be solution for both the equations both the equations so here this can have uh, infinitely many solutions and both the equations are in equivalent and the nature of solutions is or nature of equations is dependent pair of linear equations these are called dependent pair of linear equations Okay, sir. 
So thank you for watching our video. Please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for receiving latest updates. You can visit our website channel for further information regarding online classes, quizzes, worksheets, activities, English classes, coding classes. Thank you, Cheryl. Have a good day.